Are you having Stranger Things withdrawal symptoms? We wouldn't blame you, especially after the incredible season we just got. But how do you feel about something even better? We all love the Netflix series here, but let's be honest, it messes up a few things here and there, like handling Will's sexuality. But not Paper Girls. The show handled it just right. And in today's video, we're talking about exactly that. First up, Paper Girls is unlike anything you've ever seen. So we've all seen movies and TV shows where a group of geeky friends comes together to save the world from scary, epic disasters, right? Personally, we live for stuff like that. Sometimes it's grown adults fighting ghosts like in Ghostbusters. Sometimes it's four kids and a girl with superhero abilities fighting monsters from another dimension, like in Stranger Things. But how often do we get a sci-fi saving the world show with just female lead? Well, probably never until now. Welcome Paper Girls on Amazon Prime. Now, on the surface, it looks like Stranger Things with an all-female cast. And yes, even that sounds absolutely fantastic. After all, it's about a bunch of tweens in the 80s fighting otherworldly forces, so it's really not a reach to make that comparison. But it's so much more than just that. If you give it a try, you'll notice that within the first episode. No exaggeration. Up next, it doesn't mess up the LGBTQ experience like Stranger Things. One of the most groundbreaking things about Paper Girls is how it handles KJ's sexual identity. KJ, played by the brilliant Fina Straza, has a sexual awakening that is handled in the most delicate way possible. The show focuses on just that, like it's the most important thing in the world. And it is. It's the character's moment alone. Nobody else takes the spotlight from her or shares it with her as she sees herself in the future as a gay film student at NYU. It's a very important scene where young KJ goes to the movies and sits behind her older self and her future girlfriend, Lauren. She watches herself and realizes that she's so happy and comfortable in herself. A while later, we see her interact with Lauren outside the cinema. And and the audience gets to witness her sexual and cinematic awakening unfold in real time. A word of advice, keep your tissues close because it was so heartfelt. Their entire conversation has a double meaning. As KJ talks about the film 2001, A Space Odyssey, and says that she was confused at first and then stopped thinking about it so much and then just listened to the music, watch what was happening, and it was really beautiful. All while, the audience can feel her nervousness and confusion in full force. You can see how she's feeling. There's a vulnerability in her eyes as she figures out her own sexuality. You might even be able to relate to her as she understands her older self's feelings and how she made a life for herself, far from what is expected of her. Also, this scene makes her realize that she's crushing on her friend, Mac. Now compare this to Stranger Things. It took the show four seasons for Will's sexuality to be confirmed, and it wasn't even his moment alone when it happened. It didn't give him the luxury of figuring it out on his terms. No, it was the driving force for Mike to realize how much he loves Eleven. All while Will's obviously in love with Mike. Like, was there no better way for Wheeler to realize that he likes his girlfriend? Why were Will's sexuality and feelings used for that? Not only is that extremely unfair to Will, but also it's just bad storytelling. Oh, and it's not nuanced at all. It feels like they just wanted to get it out there with minimal effort. So it's super refreshing to see a show like Paper Girls come along and do it just right. Moving on, it explores girlhood in the best way, and it keeps getting better. At its core, Paper Girls is about grief and friendship. It's about the growing pains of four young girls while they're saving the world. It's about coming to terms with how your life won't always turn out the way you want, and that's okay. It has realistic, bittersweet lessons and some fantastic sci-fi stuff. And another great thing about the show is how it explores girlhood. Let's be honest, being female isn't the easiest thing in the world. Women are multidimensional, and this show doesn't shy away from that. In Tiffany, we see somebody who's nerdy and smart. Max shows us a girl who's rough and tough. We see Eric, who's girl and soft. And there's KJ, who's sporty and kind. All of them are incredible in every way. The show explores how these four understand life, and the audience is fortunate enough to go on this journey with them. We see girls learn how to navigate the pressures of familial expectations or how to deal with their bodies changing as they grow up. It's as simple as it sounds, but it's absolutely incredible and so, so, so important. In the fifth episode, there's a scene where Eric gets her period. After she learns that using tampons can give toxic shock syndrome, she says she wants to quit the whole thing, and KJ says, I don't think you can quit your period. Now, anybody who's ever had their period can relate to this struggle, right? And in the words of Rachel Green, no uterus, no opinion on this. It's incredible how the show sheds light on these seemingly small issues that so many women go through, and it's a relief to see representation on TV and plus points when it's done so well. While we have nothing against Stranger Things, we adore the show. They could never. Maybe it's because the showrunner is female, and 
and we're so glad this show exists. And we hope more and more shows follow its lead and show us what it's like to be female, especially in a way that's unapologetic, bold, and uncompromising. And finally, it deals with grief in a fantastic way. Paper Girls handles grief like it should be handled and doesn't sugarcoat it. We see our girls come to terms with some very harsh realities, like finding out you're not going to make it past 16 or losing somebody you lose in front of you or learning that your closest family and friends leave your side and how all of it is okay. We see them help each other and come to terms with their own grief and disappointment. It teaches them and us how friendship can get you through the hardest of things. And it's wonderful to see. We all love watching things that give us hope, right? If you're in a tough spot at the moment or if things aren't going exactly how you'd like them to, Paper Girls can make you feel like you're not alone and that everything will turn out all right. There's so much heart in the show and it's the greatest thing about it. Seriously, drop what you're doing and get to watching. It deserves your time. And it's got time travel. So really, it's all a win-win. Now, let's move on to some other related news. First up, will there be a Paper Girls Season 2? Gosh, we hope so. As of right now, Amazon is yet to confirm another season, but fans should stay hopeful. The show received good reviews from critics and fans alike, so there's no reason we shouldn't get Season 2. Also, it's too soon to expect the announcement. But keeping in mind the trends of Amazon shows, fans should hope for Season 2 to come out in the summer of 2023, most likely July. Oh, and the executive producer said that the team absolutely has a direction plan for the story to continue. So, fingers crossed we get to see it. Let's start a prayer circle right now, shall we? Next up, Sofia Rosinski wants to explore her character. It's not just fans who are desperately waiting for any news about a second season. Sofia Rosinski, who plays Mac on the show, revealed that she's very excited to see where her story goes, and we get to see more of her character. She talked about how Mac learned to let her guard down in the first season and realized there was no point in hiding in your shell, and it was very freeing to see her do that. Sophia said she wanted to explore who she was in more detail and see her sense of humor shine. She said she was looking forward to seeing her character grow and change. And so are we, Sophia. We can't wait to see how her story progresses. And finally, Stranger Things Season 5 is on the move. That's right, folks. We're getting closer every day. We've got confirmation that script writing has started on the final season of the show. Earlier this week, the writing team posted a picture on Twitter with the caption, Day 1. We already know that the Duffer brothers already had the fifth season all planned out, so it was about time the process moved forward. We're delighted to see that it has, and we're super excited to see how the show comes to a close. That's a wrap for this video. Have you watched Paper Girls yet? Do you think they handled the LGBTQ element better than Stranger Things? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.